All right, this is our LRT23. This is manufactured by AGT Industries. Uh, this is made over in China. And start at the front here and kind of work our way back. So, uh, you got your three ports here, uh, two pressure, one relief for running different attachments. So, you can do either forward or reverse for like a mulcher or a snowblower or a lawnmower. Your hood lifts up here, and there is. This hook right here so that is the radiator for your um, hydraulic oil cooler and it is set on a hinge so it just swings out of the way so you can access everything else so there's a hinge mechanism there and it just rests on this rubber bump stop so looking inside here this front tank right here that's all your hydraulic oil so that sits in the front in the middle you have your battery strapped down and then you have a dual pump set up on this so this thing uh, has two pumps here so <clears throat> idea being one drives one track system the other drives the other so you have plenty of flow uh, there's the back of the motor obviously a muffler and then there's your uh, control valves right there for all the hydraulics so and then there's the electric fan on this uh, there's no on and off switch on this. Whenever it's running, this fan is uh, pulling air from the engine compartment and blowing it out. So it's blowing heat out of the top of this. So we'll go over the top side here. So this is your control setup here. So your fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and hours. Lights, horn, ignition, throttle. And you have a choke over here and then the 12 volt outlet. Up top, this is for your attachments. So say I want to run like a tiller or something that is continuous flow, I can pull it down, pull it over, it's held in place here, and it has continuous flow in that direction. If I want to go the other way, I just go up and over, and that will give me flow in the other direction. Uh, controls, so this controls your track on this side, so this is your left side, and then this one controls the track on the uh, right side so very much like an excavator if you imagine your two foot pedals there uh, to raise it you pull this up and it raises up and then to dump it you uh, pull push this way and then that dumps the bucket there is a guard that goes on here I had it removed just so I was doing my inspection making sure everything was good oil and all that uh, so this is what I believe is a knockoff of a uh, Honda motor so it's a lot, of the, a lot of these machines they come with their I forget the name of the motor exactly but it's uh, not like a true Briggs and Stratton or a Honda it is a um, knockoff version kind of like how Predator has their line of motors for Harbor Freight but they're truly just a uh, copycat of uh, another manufacturer so uh, right there that's your oil dipstick and then down here you can just see some more of the hydraulic lines. Um, what can I tell you here? This has a grease fitting right there for tensioning your tracks. And then your bucket has a quick coupler. So you can pop the uh, two pins right there, take the bucket off, it's a universal plate. If you're wondering what these white things are, this thing had a lot of slop in it from where the boom meets for these for this quick coupler so you can see they actually gave it a lot of space in there on both sides so what I did I think this is it's not Teflon it might be um, it's a Teflon like plastic material so I just had a square piece so I just took it to the mill bored it out milled it down to the right size so you have a little bit of slack in there but it takes up most of the slop in the uh, arms there and tries to keep your bucket somewhat centered so um, yeah, let's fire it up and see how it performs. So that's what it looks like there with the hood down. And that's your bucket. You got tie down brackets on the front and on the back side here. Also, this step does fold up, so it's out of the way. So, starting it, you have a battery switch that's on. You hear the fan fire up. 
you pull your choke. There's the hours right there. That's your temperature. extension and the bottom of this bucket right here is just past the top of my head and I'm 5'6 so 5 feet 6 inches to the bottom right here I'm gonna do my best to operate this thing, so I apologize if the camera gets a little upset. So I apologize, that was not the best uh, video right there of it moving, but that was the controls fully forward at an idle. I'm just gonna give you an idea of the pace of this thing. <clears throat> it does move. At a pretty good walking clip. I mean, it will, you know, get up and move. Um, lifting capacity, it will tip itself over before it maxes out the uh, hydraulics. So um, just be careful you don't become the uh, um, ammunition of a human catapult. So you can sit in the back of this thing if you lift something too heavy and it decides that once that heavy load back on the ground, it's going to tip up and you're going to be at the very end and you go flying over the handlebars. But um, all the reviews I've read online are so far these things are, you know, super solid. Um, just keep your tracks tensioned and perform the maintenance that's supposed to and uh, there's no real issues that I have been noted with it. I haven't run one yet um, on a job site. so. Um, I don't have any first-hand knowledge of it, but uh, so far everything I'm reading is uh, really positive reviews on these. Um, the motor on this, just for specs, uh, these little mini excavators, these one tons, uh, that's a, uh, I think a 400cc motor. So this little, oh, let me look here. I think it's a 420cc motor, and the motor in that this guy right here is basically double the size of this uh, excavator's motor, and that excavator has plenty of power. So the um, reason I do that is because it has two pumps instead of one. So this just has one pump where this has two attached to the motor. So um, a lot more performance than this, but you also have a lot more demand on the hydraulic system. Um, right here, there's your exhaust pipe coming out. And then for filling it, um, you got your gas cap on the back. So. Uh, and then this also is a oil cooler that they have right there on the side. And then it does have an oil filter. Um, I apologize, I saw it somewhere on here. Uh, right there, right beneath that uh, oil cooler is an oil filter. So that's super important because these small excavators here, they don't have an oil filter in the motor. Um, it's an old school Briggs & Stratton design and uh, you want that oil filter in there because you know, as you're breaking in a motor, you get all that metal chunks that flake off just part of the uh, machining process of when they make them, and uh, you don't want that floating around the motor, so it's a good thing these have them. 